Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Awesome To Be Toys. My name is David and today I have a special unboxing. I have Autobot Gar Grapple. So right here I have Autobot Grapple and this is the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. And right here you can see this is the Takara, Tommy, and Hasbro. And right here you can see the box art for Grapple and he looks amazing so here you can see his claw and on the other hand he got his weapon right there his gun and let's look on the side this is the box art for Earthrise so it looks pretty neat in the back you can transform him to odd mode which is like a truck a, a crane truck and this is transform you can transform him from Autobot robot to truck mode in 16 steps and if you want you can buy separately combined parts to make him even look even better so yeah let's open up and see what's inside so if you're new to my channel and haven't hit subscribe button please consider hit the subscribe button and if you like this video please smash the like button and any question just leave down in the comment I will be happy to answer your question Yes, let's see. Okay, so the inside and the instructions always in the back. As you can see, this is the instruction for a grapple. So you can transform him in 16 steps from robot to truck. And in the back, I show you how to like utilize his weaponry and his, all his abilities. So right there, you can see the truck does look awesome. And you combine with other stuff like the iron works. And yeah, he has the claw right there. He can pick up stuff. Pretty awesome. Let's put that aside. Let's take him out of the box. All right, so I finally got him out, which is a challenge and that thing is very hard to take it out. So over here you can see, this is claw, comes with a rifle. Let's plug it in here. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Let's get a closer look. His eyes, I can't really tell, it's really light blue or silver. Really hard. You can see that he has an Autobot symbol right there. Blue headlights. And his arm, let's see, you could fold it in and out too. Right there. Looks pretty neat. And you can attach the claw when you fold his arm. So that's his claw right there. Wow, he looks awesome, guys. Wow, I like it. So let's say you don't want the claw. You could take off the claw and put his weapon right there. His blaster connected to his arm. That was pretty neat. Okay, let's do his articulation. So his arm, he could rotate a full circle on both sides. For some reason, this side is a lot looser. This thing is more tighter. Um, he can move his arm swivel on the bicep single uh, joint elbow he can bend 90 um you can move this too so he can do a lot more poses because of this part you can open his head he can do a full rotation but it's pointless because everything's blocked here you can just look straight he can barely look on the side he cannot nod or look up or down at all 
This part you cannot turn, so it's stuck right there. Um, full rotation on the waist. Thigh swivel, yes, full rotation. Pivot on the feet, which is awesome. You can pose them with, you know, you can stand better like this now. Bend on the knee, 90. He could do a front kick, back kick. He can also even do a split. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and let's do, let's see the back. And this is crane. He could fold it up and you fold it down. And you can attach the claw onto there. Um, you see a small hook right there. It looks pretty awesome. And you can attach the claw if you don't wanna, you know, lose this thing. So you just put it in the back. Wow, this guy is nice. It's almost like masterpiece looking. Very nice, I love the articulation. Really awesome. Okay, I'll transform him and I'll be back. All right guys, so I finally transformed him and it's fairly easy compared to the other Earthrise figures. So yeah, as you can see here, he's a crane truck. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, you can see there, um, there's no way you can open this to put something in there. It wouldn't be nice to, but you can't really see anyway to this tinted blue. Um, this thing does roll, and not that much, but it's pretty nice that it can roll a little bit. Um, I really like it. Um, it looks kind of like Hook, right? From Decepticon. So, yeah, the wheels, pretty, this roll, but sometimes get stuck. And here's the bottom. So it's, you can't really even tell it's a robot, except, you know, if you see the symbol right here, you know, it's a Transformers. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, you, the cool thing about the weapons is you can mount it on the side. You can mount it right here. Anywhere there's a peg, you can mount it. For this thing, you can extend it up and you can flip it. And there's this little hook to hook something up. And that's really, nice and pretty neat and if you don't want to use the hook you can mount on the side right here or a claw and it's nice and this is the back view and you'll probably want to watch the head right it's inside here so that's pretty nice so your articulation is not bad at all that's how you roll and okay let's tramp him warm him back to robot mode so what you want to do is you undo the arms, you fold it right back up down right here and that's pretty much almost done with the hand and you fold back out the arm. Use the pistol right here. You can add it right here on his arm. Right there. I think that looked better. It looked more like G1. And his head right there, you just have to pull this up. Everything is mounted on a peg right here. You have to open up to the leg. It plugs in right there. So you just take it out. I know it's a little bit hard because it's still new. You have to wiggle it out. Break it. There you go. not to plug it in there that hard so it'd be difficult so this part's easy just bend it down like that and 
pull speed out and fold it back in like that. Same thing with this side. Just pull it back and then snap into place. Just no peg or anything. And for the head, it's hidden on inside of this thing. And you have to flip this box and reveal his head. And now you have to undo this for the back, fold it back up. Fold it in like that, plug into the peg, and right there. I know the head is heavy, so you have to deal with it because everything is going to be back heavy and head heavy. So there you go. Everything's so tight in this thing. Yeah, so right here you can see this will look really nice. And if you want to add the hook, if you don't, just add it in the back. And you can hold the rifle too. There you go, so you got two weapons. Uh, too bad he doesn't have the um, the part, the effect, uh, the effect part. So grapple. If you have any question with this robot, this thing is thirty bucks. They sell at Target and Walmart. So let's do a compare size comparison. This is grapple and hoist. Hoist of deluxe class grapple is a Voyager class, so he's a little bit taller, as you can see right there but they are best buddies. Uh, they even have an episode where they build it, build like a structure with the Decepticon. Um, yeah, with the Decepticons, where they build the structure with the Constructicon. And at the end, they got tricked, of course, by the Decepticon. But yeah, it's pretty cool that they work together and they're best buddy. And they came out around the same time for Earthrise, you know, figures. So that's pretty nice. And let's compare him to Voyager class Starscream. They're about almost the same size. Starscream is a little bit shorter with the head, but with the top of his side right there, he's taller. Um, but they're about the same weight, same size. But yeah, it looks pretty nice in how they can, the, you know, size comparison, they scale pretty well. And this is Hounds and Wingspan compare it to Gravel. So as you can see right there, size comparison is huge. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, thank you so much for watching. My name is David and if you have any question, please leave down the comment. If you haven't subscribed, please consider hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next toy review. Peace out.